Hi everyone, welcome welcome back to my channel. My name is Alona and this is channel where we're talking about knitting. Today I want to tell you about the second part of everything that I have knit during 2023. And uh, at first I want to start with some disclaimer that uh, this year I got a great opportunity to spend more time for myself, for my knitting, and that's why I need quite a lot of things. Uh, plus, probably in my first video you could find that uh, I wasn't happy with I can't say everything, but with was a pretty significant amount of my needs, uh, just because I'm still, uh, you know, like like exploring everything, exploring different uh, feet, different sizes, because probably in some places I'm not quite sure what suits me better and how it how it can look on me. In other places, in other situations, probably I didn't choose correct. Uh, yarn or suitable yarn for some projects, but second half of the year was more, I can say, productive and also more mindful. I spent more time on choosing what I want to need, what yarn I'm going to choose, I started understanding more, and I started swatching. That is uh, probably the biggest achievement of previous year that I started swatching a lot. Firstly, just with test needs, and uh, further, I started swatching even without test needs, and I find this pretty successful part because finally everything looks more how it should look on a design pictures. Plus, I got the same size as it were described on a design uh, on a design pattern, design patterns. So, uh, without further ado, let's dive in into everything that I've needed but two. Uh, the first items that I want to show you, this is my uh, blouse number one. I've talked about it in my knitting results that we like summed up, uh, so I don't want to talk a lot about it again. Uh, this is a pattern by my favorite since knitwear. I've knitted it with knitting for olive pure silk in color wheat in powder. It was pretty hard for me to find a second color because I had uh, powder in my stash. I wanted to use it and I couldn't find a second color. At first I thought about dusty olive, but it wasn't suitable. Uh, also I had dark cognac, but it wasn't suitable and I had not so much of the yarn. I thought maybe I could buy a uh, like, uh, amount of powder to use it, uh, different dye lots and marl them. But then I tried with wheat color at first uh, on a small swatch. It looked not great. It looked a bit strange, but then I tried, I started knitting it. I knitted yoke. It has pretty interesting construction. Uh, you increase it first only for the first and uh, for the front and back, and then you started increasing for the shoulder. That's why it creates pretty interesting construction and it looks not like classical reglan but needs pretty similar to the reglan which I like. And when I started knitting the yoke I felt that it's really cool uh, and I really enjoy wearing it, especially with my jeans and I can wear it on top of some t-shirt or top but like just tie it uh, around my neck and wear it when it's a bit colder and a bit chilly and I really enjoy this knit and I enjoy how it looks on me and I feel that my roller and my Instagram really shows that you like this item as well. A second finished object of this half was my Sophie scarf which I made for my aunt in... Uh, it was knitting for olive compatible cashmere into strands of it. I've used one ball of this yarn, but I didn't have it right now with me. I have only this one. Uh, so I'll show you this one as well. Uh, this is my second Sophie scarf. Uh, 
pro probably this is the most popular petite knit accessory because when I was in a cup and gay and I saw so much so many people wearing it so I definitely can say that it's probably one of the most popular plus plus if you uh, write hashtag Sophie scarf uh, in Instagram you will find probably thousands of it so it's pretty easy scarf the first one has uh, a bit longer ties I think it was like uh, longer but slimmer than this one uh, this one is mm, look like this and I like it wearing with my blouse number one and with my Sunday sweater that I'll show you a bit later uh, I can say that uh, this one is knitted in Cardiff Cashmere in color terracotta I saw that it will be red it wasn't so red because I ordered it online but I like how it look uh, while the fabric of compatible cashmere but knitting by knitting for olive I find much better probably uh, it's not so fluffy as this one but it feels like more sturdy it's still soft but it feels like you can wear it for a longer time but I definitely enjoyed knitting both of them it's something like palette cleanser when you are tired of knitting big things the next item that I want to show you it was my Minta Tea. This is uh, a test need, uh, which I was a bit afraid to start at first because the deadline was around probably four weeks or something like that. And then uh, the Nitonomy, who is a designer, decided to ex extend uh, the deadline, and I decided that at that time I could manage to need this. Uh, part of this tea I needed during my trip to Ukraine, where I had tons of time in trains <laughs> that's why I knitted pretty probably even pretty fast we can say uh, it's knitted in Pinta Pasquale in color espresso I'll add color number over here uh, it's a drop shoulder t-shirt uh, with all over cables I told I talk about it in my in my one of my previous video that's why I don't want to talk a lot but uh, like the most significant of this pattern and exactly this tea is Pinta by Pasquale. It's amazing yarn. It's wool silk blend uh, with great drape and some shine in the sunshine. <laughs> Second one, uh, the cable pattern really amazing because you don't need to count rounds. Uh, there is something happening each round so it's pretty easy to memorize and to adjust. And the third one it's just stunning. I feel that this color really looks great on me. There is a lot of cables going on over here. I like how it looks on shoulders and sleeves and I enjoy wearing it especially uh, with high-waisted jeans when you can tuck it and you love this in my, on my Instagram as well. And if you're not following me over here, join me on my Instagram because there I post a lot of content as well. Uh, the next item that I finished and that also was <laughs> needed partially, partially uh, while I was going to Ukraine when I yeah when I was in a trip to Ukraine with lots of trains because right now I can't get over here without this. It's my Klimatis sweater which I've talked about again with about my knitting results as you can see uh, the end of the summer was really fruitful for me um, because I was really happy with everything that I've knitted that I'm knitting with all patterns that I've chosen and really lots of that stuff is my favorite things right now uh, this is Kamati sweater by Emma Needs hope you can see it. this is a sweater with buttons I hate sewing buttons, but I love everything with buttons. I don't know how it works, but it works like this. So this is Clematis sweater by Emma Needs, knitted in Gabo wool, uh, Peruvian wool and silk baby yak. Uh, I've decided to go not with um, hair and try something new, so silk baby yak really worked great for this. Uh, I have some... I can say that something went wrong with this it's just some uh, like 
additional fluff from this yarn that I have to shave and probably I won't have this problem again anymore but I wear it tons especially under my jacket and coats that's why you can see it probably you can see over here that you have you got some fluff but it's just like balls of fur that you can balls of fluff <laughs> that you can remove and won't have any problems I knitted it in size 2 and it was pretty enjoyable and relaxing knit, especially in combination with Minta Tea. I took it with me to my trip just to knit something in a stocking net when you don't need to sink anything. And definitely the color is great, the yarn is great, it's pretty warm, it looks great and I don't know what to add. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, I hope that I'm not talking too fast but I don't want to make a really big episode again uh, plus I've really talked a lot about these items before the next thing that I want to show you this is my cloud I can't say anything else about this sweater it's definitely cloud it's extremely warm it's Sunday sweater that I started knitting in probably in July or June Somewhere over here. So I started knitting it in summer uh, because I needed something on chunky needles. Because summer is about small tiny needles and you can be pretty tired uh, from it. So I started knitting this one. I knitted the yoke, uh, understood almost whole yoke, understood that something is going that something was wrong with it. Uh, I froze the whole yoke except of the neckline and started it once more and uh, I'm happy that I did that because my increases were pretty strange because I didn't read the instructions correctly. Sometimes uh, I got this issue <laughs> and you should be careful with reading the instructions. So it's a uh, Cal uh, it's a round yolk. It's my first round yolk and probably I'm not sure that I'm gonna need to gain it because I can say that it looks great on me while uh, in general. This sweater looks great on me. I like how it looks. I like balloon sleeves and mm -hmm. probably I'm going to need a, a round yolk again uh, when it will be not like a round uh, color work and it will be something like that you can see it's round work with vertical stripes that's why i find it looks much better than just a round yolk with horizontal something happening over here like in horizontal not in vertical not not vertical you know like joy talking about vertically and horizontally if you know you know um i've needed it with gabo uh, wool fog. Uh, it's a blown yarn. We can say probably that's a dupe for Isager Echo Soft and Sun Nesgarn Kos. It's a bit cheaper. Also it has cotton in content uh, and it's pretty warm. I really can say that right now this is the warmest item that I have and also I for use I used one strand of silk mohair uh, by Sun Nisgarn, which is tin silk, it's mohair, silk and a bit of wool. I found, find this color, uh, this white, I'll add again uh, numbers, I find this colors a bit scratchy, this color a bit scratchy in mohair. I tried others and they are better, but in this sweater you don't feel this scratchiness because it's combined with fog and fog is extremely soft. So it's not a problem, plus it adds some structure uh, and I hope it won't stretch with, with wear uh, and probably with wear I'll just add some elastic to my neck and also I'm going to add over here a uh, over here petite, lab petite knit label because I always struggle with finding front and back of the sweater because they are identical. Uh, okay, what was the next? Yeah, probably the next uh, was like the next finished object, not started, finished object was my Sunday socks. You know what does it mean? Uh, this means that I finally finished a first 
pair of socks. I have somewhere in my yarn, yarn pantry uh, one knitted sock and second only started and I'm not sure that I'll finish them. But this one I finished. I took them to my trip to Matera and knitted, uh, you know, like they're pretty long. I knitted around this part uh, during my train ride and uh, from here to the toe I knitted uh, during the plane trip. Second one I knitted in the opposite way, like while uh, when I was on the train I finished the sock and while I was on the plane I started it. So it's, sun, uh, it's Sunday sock by Petit Knit, it's a decay weight socks knitted in Perfect by Sandness Garn. Uh, you can see a bit that it's not looking perfect uh, with wear a bit. I'm not wearing the, them on shoes, I'm wearing them only at home, but you can see that probably I have to use my. How does it go? Uh, I need to shave them. <laughs> Let's call it like this. I'm not quite sure that I like this toe and I'm not quite sure that I like this heel because I, I'm i sure that if I'll wear it in my shoes this heel will be damaged pretty fast, pretty quick and that's why I'm wearing them only at home. But they're cozy, they're warm, plus they're red. This is Sunday Perfect and uh, uh, maybe decay face, decay weight socks are not so sturdy that than I imagined, but they are really quick to knit, and we'll see how sock knitting will go in in 2024. I really hope that I could knit a bit more socks, but we'll see, we'll see. And the next item that I want to show you. This is again something that you've seen quite a lot on this channel and quite a lot on my Instagram because I really love this hat. It's City Hiker Penny by Milena Paulina, knitted in Hamilton Tweed 2. I haven't swatched for this hat and it's a pity because I have to go up in a needle size. I'll need second one. I'll tell you about it a bit later with my latest item, but uh, this one it's a hat with double knitted brim uh, with fold uh, knitted top down it's my first top down hat it has ear flops and uh, eye cord straps highly recommend to knit quick to knit, easy to wear, I like how it looks on me and probably uh, I'll need second one for my husband in a bigger size. We'll see. But really enjoyed knitting, uh, really enjoy wearing. It's so easy and it goes almost with everything, probably because of the color. But if you don't know what to wear and to knit, take a look. The next item that I've needed was what I'm wearing right now. Uh, this was again a test knit. Uh, it's a cutie jumper, but by Vert Knit, it's Ines Oliveira on uh, Ines Oliveira and Vert Knit on Instagram. It's her second edition of her cutie jumper. She decided to extend her sizes for this cardigan, plus add this marinara version with stripes. It has, uh, instead of an I-cord button band, it has double knitted button band, uh, really tight calves. They look stunning. And this one has a bit boxier fit than original one. And when you buy pattern, you'll get uh, both of the versions. You'll get uh, original version with more extended size range, plus this marinara version. I needed mine in uh, Red Rosaria Mandim. It was a recommended yarn and I decided to try it because I've never knitted with it. Uh, the main color is 304 and there is a lot of my hair on it. And the contrast color is Undyed 100. 
I've used for my size just slightly from undyed ball. I bought one and I bought three balls of main color and use two and a half because it's 100 gram ball and it's heavy fingering yarn so I needed it on four millimeter needles and it's quite... I can say that it's too dense fabric but it's uh, a dense fabric set you can wear and it won't be cold. It has uh, beautiful shoulder details. I let the photo because I, I'm not sure that I can uh, move close because I have a table and I feel comfortable in this setup right now. So it has a braid uh, over the shoulder. Uh, it's a drop shoulder construction. Uh, you need at first, you need uh, shoulder details, then you split for the front and back part, uh, and then after needing some time, you're joining uh, into the like into the round. You're joining, and the armholes need uh, the whole cut again. Then you add uh, rib in the end. Uh, pick up for the sleeves and need a button band. It was my first double knitted button band. I was afraid of it, but I really enjoyed it. The, the cuffs are knitted on 2.5 mm needles for me and probably suggested needles were smaller, but I got the gauge in this uh, with these needles. I enjoy it, and you know what I finally did? I finally changed. Uh, I don't know if you, if I'm not too high, uh, if I'm not, <laughs> I'm not high. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can see right now uh, all the buttons, but I finally changed buttons because at first I couldn't find something uh, over here, and I used like some bits, some like beads and stones uh, to use instead of the buttons and finally I find the buttons I sew them and I finally match all my stripes uh, they're almost perfectly matched right now because when I needed when I used beads uh, it was not great <laughs> added and uh, on the in the front the stripes weren't matching almost on the whole cardigan and right now I'll wear it even more uh, and th that's <laughs> probably all. The next one is again test knit. I have enough, you know, I have a great amount of test knits uh, this year but uh, I try to test knit uh, on the, those things that I feel that I could buy a pattern after when it will be released, it was like with Clematis sweat. I applied for this knit, didn't get it, and bought the button as soon as it was published. The same was with Pepper Stop. Uh, yeah, other uh, other things were already published uh, when I needed them. So, really try to be pretty mindful of this. The next item that I want to show you is my uh, Wester Beanie. It's a test knit by it's a test knit for Gregoria fibers and it's her pattern. It's one by one rib uh, with interesting detail on the crown when you're decreasing it. It's it was not great for my hands because I needed it with a bit chunkier for my liking yarn on 3mm needles. I don't like to knit with 3mm needles with such chunkier yarn, but to meet the gauge I have to go to with 3mm needles. I needed it with uh, tweed recycled by Sunness Garn. It's a wool cashmere blend and that in silk and this color, it's a grey color, uh, it wasn't so scratchy as the first one that I tried. Uh, you can see it's one by one rib and uh, beautiful decreases. I like how it looks on me. Uh, probably I have to knit it a bit shorter and not the only one thing that I, I'd like to change. But I wear it. It's uh, I prefer to wear it when I'm wearing contacts, not my eyeglasses, because I have some problem. It's it's pretty tight, and that's why it can be a bit 
a bit of a problem to wear it with glasses. So I wear it only with contacts, but it's gray. It's great because sometimes you need something gray. <laughs> when the weather is gray, sometimes you want to wear something gray. Uh, the next test need that I want to show you, it was my first sponsored test need. It's a Charles blouse uh, for amazing calibre by Johanna. As I told you in my first episode, I really love her designs and I was happy to test need for her again. If you haven't seen my first part of this video, uh, go and see it. Uh, this is striped blouse. Uh, when I saw this blouse the first time on her Instagram, I, I looked and said, I need to knit it. <laughs> really. Uh, it's a striped blouse with v neck. Uh, you are stripe, you're using for stripes merino and uh, silk mohair. Uh, I've used, I've knitted it with Lali Lafay, uh, French yarn brand. It's fingering, mer merino fingering, and uh, silk mohair uh, that was kindly sponsored by the brand. I've used around probably two and slightly a bit of uh, balls of silk mohair and around three balls of. Merino. It's fluffy, it's not transparent. Uh, in previous episode of this video, I no, in one of the previous videos, I was wearing this uh, sweater or this blouse. It's not too scratchy because this hair is really soft. Uh, I find that this superwash merino isn't peeling too much, probably because you have a lot of the fluff from silk my hair and, it, and this fluff uh, covers a bit uh, your stripes with merino while you are knitting with single strand of merino and single strand with um, hair but still you have quite a lot of fluff on your merino. If you need something for party, something like that, this really great pattern for this. Plus you can use all of those precious skins of uh, hand-dyed merino and hand-dyed uh, suri alpaca or silk mohair to knit this blouse because you don't, you don't need a lot of yarn uh, and, at the and at the same time you'll get something precious and something beautiful. Uh, the next item that I've knitted was Winter Hood by Knitting for Olive. I knitted it with uh, Knitting for Olive Heavy Merino in color Rust, with Knitting for Olive sil Soft Silk Mohair in color Brand Orange. I decided to go not to go with Brand Orange, I'm not sure if they have Brand Orange Heavy Merino, but I decided to use slightly different color for hair and Marina, because I want to have this slightly marled effect on the yarn. I am not going to try it right now. I'll show you video, photos, something like that. It's something in between of balaclava and uh, like warm neck that you can wear because it's a hood with a neck part. I like to wear it when it's not too cold because right now it's minus 10 and I want to go on with this. Uh, plus I can wear it with my cap. It knits pretty fast because you are knitting this on 5, if I'm not mistaken, 5 millimeter needles. I also have some leftovers of my hair and Merino. Uh, the pattern suggests that you need three balls or four, probably four balls. I, I don't exactly remember, but I've used, uh, I have one full ball of the yarn remain so I can knit some fin fingerless mitts with it to pair, or probably I can knit mittens, not fingerless. Maybe fingerless will be better because I can't wear it when it's too cold. But it looks beautiful. It covers your neck, your chest, and your head. What can be better? Plus, if you need it 
in some bright color as I did, you'll add some winter gems to your wardrobe. Yeah, and right now we are almost finished with everything that I finished uh, during 2023. The next item was this beautiful, softest, warmest, squishiest, fluffiest item. This is my Levitate wrap uh, by my favorite since knitwear. I knitted it in size 2 with Isager Echo Soft and Trio One. This is a suggested yarn and I definitely recommend you try this yarn combo. Uh, it's not the most expensive Isager yarn and if you want to try it, you can definitely go for it. Uh, it's uh, again wrapped cardigan. As I told you, I really love this type of cardigan tops on me. It has quite a lot of double knitting and if you if you're not a fan of double knitting I'm not sure that it's your choice but give it a try because you are you you are knitting these double knitted items on five millimeter needles so it's not so hard as it could be. You are knitting like uh, front all front edges with double knitting, bottom edges and ties. Uh, it's a drop shoulder construction with beautiful drop shoulder detail. I like how it looks. It has pretty long sleeves. I was surprised that this that the sleeves that were described in the pattern were enough for my height. So if you are much shorter than if you're not as high as I am because I'm around one meter and eighty centimeters, probably you have to decrease the length of these arms. It's just stocking it, a lot of stocking it on 6mm needles. It's easy to knit, quick to knit, soft, squishy. I'm wearing it, <laughs> you know. Right now probably I am wearing the most three items. It's Levitate Wrap, uh, my Sunday sweater and my Clematis sweater. I'm just wearing them several times during the week and enjoy it because it's pretty cold and all of these three items are really really warm. Next item that I want to show you, uh, this is Harriet Bonnet by Milena Paulina again and the last item will be from her as well. This is just simple bonnet that I needed with, it's, it's really very very fluffy again I came with the same idea for the slightly marled effect of yarn. So uh, I've used uh, Jensen yarn as wool and Isaker Jensen yarn and Isaker Soft Silk my hair to knit it. Uh, I have a bit mess up, messed up with the cage. I told you in the beginning that I'm trying to swatch everything. I didn't swatch for this bonnet uh, and I will I knitted it with slightly smaller needles that I have to knit and I tried to stretch it a bit while blocking. It's alright, uh, there is no problems. I feel that this size is okay for me. Uh, the only change that I've done, I knitted straps uh, with double knitting instead of I-cord. I wear it uh, again when it's not so cold. It's like not minus 10 because it, my forehead will be cold. But it's easy stash busting item, a uh, piece of accessories that you can need. Uh, it's quick to knit. I think that it's easy to wear and I like how it looks and, uh, and I like to wear something more interesting than just a hat, but knitted hat they are always pretty interesting, but at the same time, sometimes you need to add something, you know, like, add something, and this bonnet works really fine with this. And the last item that I finished in 2023, this is my la latest test knit, again for Milena Paulina. I love everything that she creates, <laughs> believe me. And this is 
again a cardigan. I don't like sewing buttons, but I like cardigans. Uh, I've really finished it just before the new year because I bought buttons before the new year, sewed them, and I'm wearing. I'm not wearing it a lot, to be honest, right now, because I I can't say why I wear it several times, but I'm not wearing it as much as I wear other stuff. Probably I'm a bit afraid of the pin. This yarn is really soft, and I'm afraid to ruin it under my coat. Uh, and I feel that this precious thin should wait till it will be warmer, and I could wear it without any... Over, he, uh, like over it, like coat, because I want to wear it a lot with skirts in winter, in in spring. Uh, this is a test knit again with a sponsored yarn. The yarn the same as for this hat. That's why I have some left torus from this uh, cardigan, and I'll knit a city hiker beanie again. Uh, this is Wabi Sabi Cardi. Uh, probably you've heard about it on my winter plans. It's done. Uh, it's a drop shoulder construction with quite oh sorry for the sound with quite interesting shoulder detail. Uh, it's cr crochet cast crochet cast on. Uh, also some lateral braids uh, to add more structure. Two of them on the body and two of them on each of the sleeves. Sleeves are quite long, cozy. The cardigan is quite cropped, but it's not too cropped. It's not too cropped even for me. So it's not a problem. It has great size range. I like when the pattern has size ranges where I can wear and need not the smallest size because I'm not the smallest girl, but I'm pretty small. So. I like to I like to have the opportunity to need not the smallest size, you know. <laughs> it has a high neck, so you can wear it and close it pretty high. If you don't like it, you can just undone uh, the first button, or probably you can even skip this adding these buttons. It's really cozy, warm, soft, and you know it's like uh, your favorite. Tweedy cover, <laughs> not a cover, blanket, yes. It's like your favorite Tweedy blanket that you can wear and be really cozy. It needs super fast because you're using six, because the pattern suggests knitting uh, on six millimeter needles, but I have sized up till seven millimeter needles. Uh, you are knitting back parts and you're knitting left front, right front yoke, left front yoke, join it like into the round, add braid, knit to the, knit the whole body, then pick up for the sleeves, knit for sleeves, and that's all. Definitely like a week or two. Uh, I'm not sure that I add somewhere, probably a week or two and you have a great cardigan. I've used uh, this is like wooden plastic -y. I'm not sure buttons uh, but I feel that they look really beautiful and that's oh that's everything that I've knitted during uh, it's everything that I finished and there during 2023 uh, I have two vips that I took with me uh, into the 2024. It's Zipper Sweater Light Man. Spoiler, it's drying right now. I finished it. I couldn't manage to finish it during 2023, but it's almost finished right now. And I just need to add a zipper when it will be dry. Also, I started sweater number nine light version on 30th of December. I don't know why I did it, but we have these two whips that are going with me to the, that came with me to the next year, and I hope to finish them soon. And uh, also, I'm planning to come to you with plans for my new year. It won't be like 
exact pattern that I want to knit. It will be just like New Year resolutions. Uh, and if you still here please write me in the comments below what you'd like the most uh, what you feel that you are going to need from my needs and tell me what are you planning to need for the next year uh, thank you for joining me for joining me today i really enjoyed sharing everything uh, that i needed probably i'm happier for this part because these items i love more and I hope that the next year uh, will be even more fruitful for me and I'll show you even more my favorite items. Thank you. See you. Bye.